young adult section of the public library and I'm going to pick out four books that have a green cover because I'm going to read two of the books for a Goodreads challenge. So let's pick out four green cover books. So, well, that's a green cover book. When I was a kid, all I had was Judy Bloom books. I'm going to say, I like Judy Bloom, but once you read Judy Bloom, where did you go from there? <laughs> I went straight to science fiction and started reading Edgar Rice Burroughs and The Nomads of Gore. Those were the only books, really, that I was reading. Read them from middle school all the way to high school, honestly. the books these days, whew, they're much, much nicer. All right, let's see. I know that's green, but I already read that one. All right, so I think I've got the four. Okay, so those are the four books that I found that have green. Okay, and they're the new books in young adult. So I judge books by covers. I mean, why else do they make these covers like this? So to judge the book by. And they're all very pretty. They did a good job on their covers. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to pick those two. Because those two stand out the most to me. So the two that are coming home with me. And um, I will take them out, check them out, and then give you some more information of what these books are about. So I've brought the two books back from the library, checked them out. They're green covers for the Goodreads Challenge for March. And these are the two I got from the Young Adult New section. So this one right here, The First Time She Drowned by Carrie Kettler. It is 352 pages. It came out March 15th, 2016. Right now still on Goodreads. It has 692 reviews and it has a 3.98 star rating on Goodreads. So I brought this one home and actually I read this one in a day. It was actually a really good book. So the synopsis or the summary of this story is that our main character, Casey, um, she's committed to a mental hospital after, well, after an episode happens at the house. It's against her will and she is in there for something that she claims she did not do. So going against medical advice, when she turns 18, she actually can sign herself out because she's an emancipated person by then. So she has signed herself out and she tries to start a life new in college. But the only problem is her estranged mother, the one who actually put her into the hospital, starts showing up and really just throws everything into chaos. So Casey's questioning herself her mother and did the things happen that she that you know were said that she did do in order to go to the hospital so actually this book is is really interesting it's real intense actually um, it's going to feature psychological issues it's going to have emotional issues there's memory lapse there is a little hint of child molestation in it a little bit of that sexual abuse this is kind of the idea of why she's in the hospital. So it's not like a happy book, but it's a very interesting read. The book I got from the YA New Fiction, Young Adult Fiction book. This is Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith. Okay, it has 416 pages. This one was published in 2017. Right now on Goodreads, it has 1,309 reviews with a 3.71 star rating. All right, so I did start the book. I didn't get it get that far yet. But this book is about Alice and Teddy. And Teddy is Alice's best friend. But also, Alice has always been in love with Teddy, her best friend. But she's never told him. So the book happens where Alice buys Teddy a lottery ticket for his birthday. And in the book... That ticket turns out to be the winner, and it's more than a million dollar winning winner. So it's these two friends, they have um, always leaned on each other, they've always supported each other, but now that this windfall 
has come upon them and has changed their lives and it's going to put a test to their friendship. So this book features love, luck, and lotteries. Well, that's the information I have on these books. I enjoyed this one very much. That one. Still working on this one. So if you've read them, let me know. And thank you for watching.